it's Sunday and I'm doing a slow Sunday today because I haven't got to be anywhere. So I thought I'd start off by making some breakfast. So it's a bit chilly today. I don't know what the temperature is, but I thought I'm gonna have some porridge. So this is gonna be my first porridge of the year. And in my porridge, I think I'm gonna have cinnamon. I'm not too sure yet, but I'm also gonna have a cup of tea because I'm so cold. That's why I'm in my fluffy dressing gown. one I just cleanse my face and I either put aloe vera on it or E45 because this area keeps getting dry and I've literally had these spots for like a year can't get rid of them so if you know anything that would help these leave it in the comments would be really helpful I'm gonna start off by putting a headband on because as you can see my hair literally gets in my face all the time so I just put this cheap one on, I don't know where it's from. <laughs> and then I've just got this cleanser and then I use the reusable wipes with it. I don't cleanse my face every day. You probably should, but when I was doing it every day, it was making my spots worse. So I do it like every other day. I really recommend these reusable pads. You get, I got these from Primark and you literally, I bought these bags from Primark as well. I literally put them in there, put them in the washing machine and they come up brand new and you're not killing the environment. So these are really good and they're really cheap as well. So what I usually use is aloe vera or E45, depending how dry my skin is. And then I will also put some bio oil on this little bit which seems to be helping but it's still not getting rid of it so i'm just gonna do that now i'm just putting some of that e45 on this bit to help with the dryness because my skin has gone really dry because the change in weather even though it's warm today my skin just does not like cold, it likes heat. <laughs> Putting a little bit of that bio oil on here. And here. I know I shouldn't be touching here than here because it probably is spreading it, but oh well. <laughs> Decided I'm gonna do a roast today as I haven't had one literally in since June, I think, for my birthday. So I'm just peeling the potatoes and then I'm gonna just prepare everything so it's not as much to do later on. So I'm gonna do the veg potatoes and make the stuffing. <music>
after I finish preparing the veg, I'm going to do a little tidy up. So I'm just going to put a wash on. So we wash our towels on a Sunday. So I'm just putting them on. And then I'm just going to do the bit of washing up that was just on the side. Just to keep on top of it. Because as you may know, when doing a roast, you literally just end up with so much washing up. And then after I finish doing the washing up, I'm just going to go in my spare room and just tidy up a bit. Because it literally just gets full of junk and is a little bit messy and needs a hoover so I'll do that after this <laughs> I'm jumping from room to room again so I just finished a tidy in the spare room and my potatoes were ready so I just drained the water and seasoned them and put them back in the pot so what I do I season them with a bit of flour and salt and I just find this works best and then I'm just giving them a shake and then I left them on the side to cool. My bedroom didn't need tidying that much, it just needed a hoover because the floor gets messy quickly because it's a light carpet. And if you find in my videos I jump room to room, it's because I literally do. I don't really do stuff in an order unless I'm just focusing on one room. So that's why it might seem a bit weird that I'm going from the kitchen to the bedroom to the bathroom to the living room. I had about an hour or so before I had to do anything else, so I just sat down and played a little bit of game. I got a little bit hungry playing game, so I thought I had these mini fingers. I haven't tried these before. I mean, I've had the normal ones, but I haven't tried the mini ones. So I'm just going to play a game for a bit until my fiancé comes home. And then I'll probably start cooking the roast again. I've gone back to my roast now and I'm just getting the tray of oil out the oven. So I let this heat up for around 30 minutes and then I'm just going to get my potatoes and pour them in the oil. And then I like to put honey and salt over the potatoes because if you haven't tried this, it's literally insane. It makes them all nice and crispy and sticky and they're so good. Whilst my potatoes were cooking, I just seasoned the chicken with thyme and rosemary. It's quite a basic chicken, so we only literally have one bit of chicken between us because we don't like too much meat and we prefer to have veg and potatoes. <music>
I'm doing this voiceover five days after I filmed this and watching it back and seeing the roast literally makes me want to have a roast but it's literally Thursday and I find it weird having a roast on the Thursday it's only meant for Sunday but um the Yorkshires in this don't look very good they are actually homemade ones but I don't think I put enough of the batter in it to rye but the Yorkshires did taste good and that's the only thing that matters That is the only thing with a roast. You literally have so much washing up. Even though I'd done some earlier, we still ended up having loads of washing up and wiping the sides because there was so much gravy on the side. So that's what I'm doing now. After we had done all the washing up and tidying up the kitchen, we just sat down and watched The Walking Dead as I had never seen it before and it's actually really good. And then we just had some snacks and just chilled out for a little bit. Thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.